Good people, uh, welcome back to Benz Talk. It's your guy, Benz. And uh, today, uh, we are having this content in conjunction with uh, Mr. Rani Farm. That is, it's me again. Yes. How are you, sir? Welcome, welcome, guys. I'm fine. Thank you, Benz Star, for the visit. I feel blessed. Thank you, sir. Mm. Thank you for welcoming us in your farm. Yes. Guys, today we are going to learn about uh, Azola farming. I'm not sure whether you've heard about that. It's a new thing in the market. So, guys, uh, this is uh, Azola farming. And uh, it's me again. Yes. Please, would you just take us through? What is this, man? I'm this not even sure whether I'm pronouncing it the correct way. Viewers and followers of Benster Farm, yes. uh, welcome to Majorani Farm once again. This is a new concept, the new kid in the block, which goes by the name Azola. Azola, Azola. Azola is a fun. Azola. Yes, Azola. Z-O-L-L-A. Z -L -L -A. Azola. Okay. It's a, 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 a new concept in this part of Africa, yes. in Kenya in particular. Yes. yes. It has its origin in the Southeast Asia. Uh -huh. And this is a bacteria, okay. a fen, uh -huh. which is used to, to feed livestock. I've seen it does poultry, poultry, dairy, dairy, goats, goats, name it, pigs. You can feed it with it. Yo. Simply because Azola has forty percent protein content, which is required by your poultry exactly. for it to lay. Lay I'm telling you, when you give your poultry Azola, yeah. Yeah. I want to believe even the cocks will lay because <laughs> it is high in protein content. Yeah. And you so, know protein helps with the shell of the of yes, the yes 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 and and actually to fasten the process of laying eggs exactly initially before I started feeding my chicken mm -hmm. I have over 150 uh, birds before I, yes before I started feeding them with this azola I had a problem with the way they were laying I tried everything uh -huh. Uh -huh. all the chicken feed from uh -huh. agrovets uh -huh. everything I yeah. mean making my very own yeah. but when I supplemented the feed with Azola, yes. the rate of egg laying went up. When did you start this? I started this project like a month ago. Uh -huh. I just finished harvesting this morning. Yes. Ordinarily, it's normally covered by a mass of green yes. and a dense mass, if you may hold this one for me here. Uh -huh. These are fellow farmers who are here to learn about Azola and I have to show them. This is how we collect Azola from the pond. Yes. So this is a, that is now the green substance. If okay. you take it, you may take it close to, for the viewers to see, that is Azola, the green substance. That is Azola. Sure. And it grows on its own, eh? Yes, it grows on its own. It's it a bacteria. It immortalizes. Uh -huh. This is kind of a spore. Okay. Yes. And it's a, a living plant, which is bacterial, and it flourishes on water. For it to flourish, mm -hmm. you just need a scoop like this, okay. size of a pond, mm -hmm. and give it 14, 7 to 14 days. Not you like. will not believe what you will have seen. Sure. Today morning, I harvested 10 kilos of Azola, which I fed on my chicken, and I'll feed on them tomorrow still. So, it's me again. Yes. So, how many kg's do you harvest per day? Or do you do it per day or it's a weekly? I do it on a weekly basis. After okay. seven days, I harvest over 10 kilos of Azola. You. 10 kilos. It is a fast multiplying There is a word about that. Uh -huh. Very rich in protein and liked by birds. Dairy cows mm. eat on Azola. So, for you to... And it is very easy to multiply. Right now, when what you're is giving, sufficient? When you're giving the birds or the dairy cows, eh? yes. you give it alone or you mix it with some other? You mix food. it with other animal feed. Okay, okay. I mean, to, to, to maximize on, uh, on fiber, uh, on fiber and, and everything those. and to balance yes. their diet. Exactly. But this is the main thing. Uh -huh. With 40% protein content, yes. this is the, 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 the main thing when it comes to poultry. Yes. And for you to grow an, uh, an Azola, you just need a pond like this. It's a pond like this? This is a locally available material, a uh -huh. plastic material. Okay. And then you dig your pond depending on your ability and yes. uh, capability. Yes. And, uh, but the, the depth... W what is the depth? The depth is only one foot. One foot. One foot. Okay. That is the depth. Okay. You don't need to go beyond that. This is the recommended depth because Azola grows on top here. Yes. It has some roots equally. And the roots are so micro, you uh -huh. can't see you can them there. Yes. So, so what feeds the Azola? What feeds after it? making your pond uh -huh. and making sure that the water doesn't seep uh, below, yes. you place dry cow dung. Is it cow dung or cow dung? It's 
cow dung. Yeah, cow dung. Different people wear. Dry. Yeah. You first crush it and mm -hmm. make it as powdery as possible. Powder as possible. You mm -hmm. add water. Uh -huh. You place like now the case of this pond. Yeah. This requires around 40 kilos of cow dung. Okay. And you will add it again. Even it How can frequent? take a month. It like can take a, a month before. Thing. Yes. Okay. Because failure to add cow dung here. Mm -hmm. This bacteria will not regenerate so fast. So it, it feeds on cow dung. Cow dung yes. and a bit of soil. Okay, you mix that, of soil. Yes, organic soil, okay, so that okay, okay. you create a media yes. which it can flourish on. I, I heard that you need to control the pH level. Yes, okay. you do. Yes. You do by adding water. Okay. Uh, you get water which you know is a bit clean. Pure water, not Pure saline. water, yeah, not saline. Okay. Yes, it doesn't flourish on saline. Uh -huh. Immediately you place saline water here, yes. you kill the bacteria. Oh, man. Yes. I'm learning, we are, uh, yes. of course, we are learning a lot from and, uh, it's me again. And besides Renster, yes. Azola requires 50% sunlight, 50% shed. shed. I that can, is why you I, can see, I can see that you do, I'm in the process the, of, the yes, of covering okay. and it's under, it's under shed. Yes. Yes. At, why have the you process, the nets? I added the nets just for privacy uh -huh. and to prevent frogs, probably snakes. Mm -hmm. From creeping here. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is just to prevent frogs and toads yes. because they like water. Yes. And you have a permanent pond here. Okay. So failure to protect it, you'll find a lot of frogs. There. You'll be yes. breeding yes. frogs, yes. not a solar. Yes. 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 Of course. So, let me ask you another question. Eh? Yes. What is, what is the lifespan of this? I mean, uh, do, you, do you run this for like a year? Do you need to move it? Do you need to move this remove the water? This thing you don't need to remove the water or recycle. Uh -huh. Water evaporates naturally due to vapor. Okay. But you will keep on adding fresh water uh -huh. every time every, to okay. a level of like we said this is uh, 30 centimeters. Yes. Yeah. So the water you add it to around 20 centimeters. Okay. To prevent just like a day to day when it's raining uh -huh. to prevent flooding. Okay. Because when it floods, your azola may be infected. Yeah. But uh, you give it up to 20 and control it. So uh, it's me again. Yes. It's a uh, rainy season. Yes. I'm sure uh, guys you can see the rain and all that. Yes. So what happens when uh, the water floods and uh, takes away? Do you have an inlet, outlet? I don't have an outlet and it would be very wise and prudent to have an outlet. Yes. But what I will do mm. in event the water floods, yes. I'll devise a way of creating an opening there yeah, exactly. so that my azola is not, it's washed, not away. washed away. Yes. Yeah. But with time uh -huh. and the resources, yes. you can actually build a very nice pond. Uh -huh. Using bricks or even uh, machine cut stones, okay, and uh, regulate, yeah. elevate it a bit to an extent. Exactly. When the water, yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, is full, yeah, it can overflow, yeah. leaving your yeah. azola Yes, yes. I'm sure there are some guys who like to do this in large scale. Yes. Is there like an amount of uh, how big the pond should be? No. Can you do like 10 meters by 10 meters? You can do 10, 10 meters by 10 meters, uh -huh. 20 meters by 20 meters. Yes. So long as you have a sufficient counter. Yes. And you have water, yes. And then the azola extend, which will flow, okay. And shed on your own approach, yes. When you do 10 meters by 10 meters, yes. And then, uh, what quantity do you need to start the, the project? I will tell you the quantity you need is uh, let me put it this way mm -hmm. a one kg can full of azola yes. will be sufficient, yes. Because this thing multiplies. Yes. When you give it sufficient time, yes. you will harvest the yield you desire. Yes. Because in 14 days, yeah. it is normally it is normally the process of multiplication is normally complete and there is a lot of azola at your disposal. Yes. Yes. In fact, this thing if if, if you are not keen on harvesting, yes. it can be a problem now to you. <laughs> because it keeps on multiplying day and night. Yeah, yeah, day yeah. and night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, guys, uh, our viewers, uh, welcome back. This is uh, it's me again it's in me conjunction again. with the Bensa farm. Yes, and uh, we brought you about Azola farming. Yes. So if you like high content, uh, high content, uh, protein content in your feed, this is the way to go. Azola farming is the way to do it. Yes. And you will be able to feed your dairy, cows, goats, a cup, chicken, a cup beef. of tea, <laughs> a cup of tea full of Azola goes for Kenya shillings. A thousand, but I'll give you a discount immediately. You leave a comment down here in yes. the comment section. Yes. Yes. I'm very sure my good friend and former <laughs> Benster farm yes. will get in touch with me yes. and I'll provide you with the seed from here. Yes, yes, yes. This is Azola, the yes. new concept. Guys, I'll put the contact down there in case you need Azola farming. You can always, can always be delivered. You can always organize, make that call, and it will be delivered. And to our fellow farmers, Hapa Karibuni Sana. Yes.
uh, this is Azola yes. farming. Yes, wonderful. Asante, wonderful. Asante. Go and uh, teach them about Azola. It will save on the animal feed a great yes. deal. Yes. It will make your chicken lay eggs. Yes. Appropriately. Yes. And uh, that is the joy of a farmer. They are some of the first going to give it a try. Customers. Yes, give it a try. Yes. They are first they are some of the first customers, customers of for Azola. Azola farming. Yes. And uh, I'm sure you'll be receiving uh, more of them. Yes, of course. This, I mean, this is a new concept. Yes. I, I see this is a small one. Yeah, this is a small one. I'm, I'm sure doing a major one down uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. And uh, I will do more because I know the benefit of this. Yes. I've seen it practically here. Yes. So it is now the high time I start expansion. Yes. Actually, I'm not through with the construction. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to cover here. Yes. It's only that uh, you, you paid me a visit and I had to show you this concept. Yes. Yes. But I'm going to better it. Yes. Uh, of course, you require a shed net. Uh, to give it semi light and shade yes. so that it flourishes. Ah. Look at the color green. green, forest green tells you it's flourishing very well. Exactly. We just harvested this morning, that is why you are seeing this part. But in the next five days, mm -hmm. this thing will be replete with Azola. Yes, so guys, if you get from Bensa Farm, please subscribe. We like to learn together, feed the nation together, and uh, keep checking for the next corner. Thank you. Bye-bye.